Hey guys, I hope you are all ready for this office declutter, organization, and mini room makeover. I did not plan on this video becoming a full-blown room makeover, but it kind of just went that way. I started off by just decluttering my desk and simplifying the office because it was always chaotic and cluttered. As you can see in these before shots, there's just tons of little things that end up everywhere. So the reason I wanted to film this video was to simplify this space, declutter my life, make this more of a minimalist zone, and then I also got a little carried away with decorating and making this room a great place that I want to come and work in. So here's a look at all of the drawers in the desk. Not terribly disorganized or messy. I just realized that I set up this organization system like six months ago maybe, five months ago, and I don't use like half the drawers. Half the things that I had organized for and made designated spaces for, I just wasn't using anymore. So it was time to rework the system, go through my stuff once again, and purge what doesn't serve me anymore. So now I'm gonna just start clearing things off the desk, out of the drawers, and I'm just going to start making piles. Everything on the desk or in the desk is going to end up on the floor of the office, and from there we're gonna purge, declutter, and then reorganize. I hope you guys are excited for this video because it actually is a really beautiful room at the end of it, so make sure you stay tuned to the very end of the video so you see before and afters. everything out of the desk and I am already wiped and needed to go get some tea for like pushing through the rest of this video. I'm honestly a little bit surprised that there's not more laying out on the ground here. Like this is everything office supplies and paperwork. All of our important documents are in that accordion file, but we also have some that I need to go through and figure out what needs to be placed in that file. And I think I can get rid of some things. So I'm gonna be decluttering paperwork, organizing that, making this a whole lot more organized and simple. And I know that there's tons of stuff here that I can already declutter. So this is gonna be a successful video. I have a good feeling about this. And I'm thinking I might wanna simplify this room a little bit more. There's just tons of random stuff. So like the printer, is underneath that curtain right here. And I'm pretty sure no one thinks their printer's cute. So I might actually relocate that printer into our um, storage closet right next door. I'll link the video here where I organized that space and decluttered it recently. And I put in a bookshelf. So I think I can put like the printer on one of the shelves of the bookshelf. There's an outlet in there I can plug it into. So that might be a great way to get that off the floor, a little more simple in here less things, less clutter, and I love being able to hide away a printer. And the last thing happening in this room is this mirror. I talked about this a couple videos ago. This used to be the top of our dresser in our bedroom, but we took it off, put another mirror in there, and I wanna try to pop out these mirrors and hang them in our garage. We used to have like a full length mirror in this corner and it's actually the only full length mirror we have in the house, but we moved it to the garage to be able to like see ourselves like when we do squats or whatever. But these would be awesome to hang up on the wall, bring the full length mirror back in here, have like a little more decor in this room, get this out of here. Just be a welcome improvement to this space because this space has been kind of untouched for a while and I do come in here to work quite a bit. I'm going to be flying in these clips because I sped it up 15 times faster than the original video. I figured you guys would not want to see me sit down for like an hour and go through every piece of paper in the office. So hopefully it's not too boring to watch, but I did sort through all of the loose papers that were on the desk. I had like three or four different file folders that were next to our accordion folder. I went through all of those. 
and then finally I'm going to sort through that accordion folder. It is really nice to have one central place that has all of our documents, and when we were moving, we knew that we just had to grab this, and it was super simple to have everything in one spot. So I definitely recommend having a centralized paper station in your household. Obviously our household is very small, we are young, we don't own very much or have very many responsibilities, so we don't need tons and tons of space for our paper storage, so this little folder is perfect. And I also store some of my sentimental items in here. So I keep birthday cards from my parents, cards from Christian, family photos, those kinds of things I also keep organized in here. Once I've organized the accordion file though, I'm going to go through and figure out what all of my different sections are. I never really labeled this accordion file, and I'm not quite sure why. They have little slips for you to label each section, and it just would make my life so much easier when I go to look for something, rather than looking in every single section for just one piece of paper, I can go straight to the right area. So here I just cut out some little labels with an index card, I'm handwriting these labels and sliding them in and then calling it a day. This is probably the most time consuming part of this entire project. Paperwork is never fun, but it always feels really great to have it over with. Here's a quick look at some of the labels. Maybe some of these labels will inspire you to organize your own papers. Trust me, it's a lot less stressful to go looking for a certain document when you have it organized like this. But now it's time to throw away and shred all of the papers that I pulled out of that file. Thankfully, a huge pile of it was disappearing just like that with YouTube magic. And now I'm moving on to decluttering the rest of the office supplies. I didn't really have a rhyme or reason. I just went around this area and just went from pile to pile, sorted through it, pulled out what I could get rid of. A lot of things were just trash or broken or not usable. So I'm just gathering a little pile behind me there. You can see it by the desk drawers and you're just gonna see me meander through this giant pile of stuff and slowly it'll get smaller and smaller. Time for the question of the video. As you can see, I love stationery and office supplies, so let me know down below what your office supply vice is. I think mine's probably a tie between pens and writing utensils and post-it notes. You can see that container in the back has tons and tons of rainbow post-it notes. My mother-in-law actually asked me what a Christmas gift idea for me was, and I told her that I love post-it notes, and I'm pretty sure she found a giant pack at Costco or something, and it's amazing. You're gonna see me move them over to a new organizer. It was just a little bit too disorganized in that one, and then I realized I could color coordinate my post-it notes. Mind-blowing. So here, I'm just gonna organize it by color because I am that extra, and yes, I will probably go through all these post-it notes. I have a serious problem. But nonetheless, let me know down below what is your favorite office supply. You may not notice a huge difference in the size of this pile, but I definitely have condensed things, decluttered, just found trash and things that no longer serve us. And we are definitely having a smaller collection here. If you talk to me maybe two years ago, three years ago, I've had these like drawer systems forever, like all the way back through high school, and I am well out of college now, but I've had them full to the brim like my entire life. And this is basically all I have to go in there now. It's kind of weird having so little stuff, but it's so freeing to have so much 
extra space and only having what I need and having everything easily accessible. On top of random clutter, I've emptied out four different containers, which I will put these in our storage bin in the storage closet. I keep extra storage containers there because you guys know I do this a lot on my YouTube channel, so that's good to have those on hand now. And now it's time to start putting things back in the desk and then getting to more fun things. I'm also deciding, I think I'm gonna hem these curtains today because they look awful. So hemming the curtains, moving the printer, fixing the mirror situation, all of that is gonna make the room feel a lot better. But first I wanna finish the desk project and I think I might wipe everything down first. Invited to any parties, I just sit out from the in crowd and stay within my boundaries. Then hang on my friends, and it was great. We go out, but not that late. And I really love and never want to change. But sometimes I can't help but think, Am I missing out on something I don't have? Cause I don't want to give up being good to be bad. The bottom drawer is staying pretty much the same. Our printer paper, our laminator paper, just extra paper supplies. And then I'm just hopping around from drawer to drawer. I kind of wanted to change the organization a bit, but up here I ultimately left the same like design that I had before. These organizers are all from Amazon. I will have them linked down below if you're interested. I love using these and I actually just shared a whole video about all of my favorite Amazon organizers. I'll link that here if you wanna watch that. But now with the top drawer done, I'm moving on to the second drawer. Previously, I had a ton of different pens and different colored pencils in this one, but I'm mixing it up a bit. My electronics are something I reach for way more frequently than colored markers. Right now I'm using a microphone to record this voiceover, I've got power banks, different kinds of cables, all kinds of electronic things. That's why it's the electronics drawer. But this drawer is more commonly used for me, so it just made sense in my head to make it the second drawer. So here I'm trying to reconfigure this space because it is a little bit different than how I had it before. But I'd stay low Kids are raising cups while I'm in the back Staring at my phone And I know that it doesn't matter in the end But sometimes I feel I'm on the outside looking in And I'm happy where I'm at so I won't get too vocal This drawer will probably be my least used drawer But it's my favorite to look at Something about all of the colored pens and pencils and the color-coordinated post-it notes just make this drawer so pretty and so fun to look at. I've been very into planners and organization and like paper products like that. So this drawer is devoted to just that, all my planners, all of my cards, all of those supplies. And I've pared down my collection so much that it's definitely a more manageable amount than it used to be. I used to hold on to every single thing that came in, every little freebie from an order. If you're in the planner community, you understand the struggle of keeping all of those little things and it was just building up and I never used them. So getting rid of all that stuff definitely freed up that drawer to be a lot more calm. Now moving on, I'm gonna go over to that storage closet I was mentioning earlier and finally moving our printer in here. I always hate the printer, it's just so bulky and not very pretty to look at, but it's also a necessity. So finding a spot for it like in here that works great for our lifestyle, we don't print very frequently, was such a great idea. I was so happy that I made this change and it already opened up the floor of the room so much. Moving on to the mirror, I was way overconfident that I could lift all of these heavy duty furniture staples. So first I tried lifting them with a chisel. Don't tell my husband I was using his chisel for that. And then I remembered we had an actual like staple gun remover tool and it was very difficult to use. And there were at least a hundred staples. So I decided that this was not the day for this project. So I pulled it out to the storage room, brought up that mirror I was talking about anyway. You can see it had so much sawdust left on it from being in the garage. We have a little gym set up out there, which is why it's like that, but it's nothing a bit of a glass cleaner and a microfiber cloth can't take care of. Hey. 
time to hem these bad boys. I had let these curtains be so long for forever. Obviously, they've never been hemmed. I was holding off on doing this for the office makeover video, but honestly, it's gonna be quite a bit longer before we get to that video. And I've already shown me doing this hack in all of my other makeover videos, so I thought it wouldn't hurt to do it in this video instead. And guys, just this one adjustment changed so much in this room. So if you are new to my channel and missed the other times I've explained this, how I like to hem my curtains is with a little product called Stitch Witchery. It's basically a ribbon of hardened glue, and you will fold up your curtains to the point you want to hem it at. You take a damp cloth, you hold an iron over each section for 10 seconds, and then it will just hang perfectly. It's hemmed the exact length of your floor, and I'll explain a little bit later why I like to hem my curtains this way instead of like cutting and sewing them, besides it just being the easiest way. I will have everything I used for this down below in the description bar. It's such an easy DIY, guys. I highly recommend trying it out on your curtains. And the best part is, is that if you hate it, you can just peel it back open, undo it, and it's like it never happened. But how much better does the curtain on the left look than the curtain on the right? So I love this hack for hemming my curtains. It's how I hem all of them. And we are renting this house. This is not a forever home or a very long home for us. And I like making it homey, but I also like things to be reversible. So my favorite part about hemming the curtains this way is if we ever move to a new space where we need them longer, I can just rip open what we ironed on and adjust it to the right length without really harming the curtains. Would have been best to like cut them, sew them, or even cut them and then like you wouldn't have this much overlap but I like it because it's reversible and friendly for our lifestyle. And this is just a lot better than them sitting pooled on the floor. Now I'm a little steamy because like getting underneath the curtains like that is like hot and steamy. So I'm gonna clean up the um, iron and everything. I'm also gonna style the desk a little bit. It's really empty right now and I don't love that. But I also want to keep it simple because that was the problem coming in here. It gets crazy, it gets messy, and it just is not easy to work in. So I want to simplify this. Well, not simplify. Decorate it, make it look a little bit cuter. But other than that, I think we're going to be done pretty soon. I also should vacuum. This floor is gross. I forgot about these little knobs that go on each end of the curtain rods. Our curtain rod set is from Ikea, by the way. And the front curtains are from Target. And then the sheer curtains are also from Ikea. This rug used to be downstairs in our living room, but I remade that space and got a new rug. So it had been sitting up in the closet up here. Once again, I was gonna save this for the room makeover, but honestly, it's so far off that I wanna enjoy this space as much as possible right now. So it felt so nice to unroll it, add a little more style to this room and just fill it up a little bit more. The main problem I have with this room is that it's pretty empty. There's not a lot of furniture in here and it's just not in the budget right now, but I am working with what we got. I'm pulling this chair from our bedroom Room, the rug that we had from downstairs, whatever I can to make this space a little bit more homey. I am sweating because I've been going up and down the stairs, running around, carrying heavy things, but I did not plan on this video being a mini room makeover, but I think that's what it turned out to be. I want to remind you guys how this room looked when we started.
What started off as a simple decluttering video fully inspired me to transform this space. Now I didn't change too many things in this room and I didn't buy anything for this project, but this room feels so fresh and inviting and exciting for me to be in and I'm so pleased with how it turned out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.